right guys so we just got done having some lunch and we bath the dog um technically you're supposed to bath the dog before you shave them however i was crunched on time today and <laughs> I just didn't want to do it the other way around because I would have had to wait for Otis to dry and we have to get coal in about an hour and a half so like time was crunched to do it the other way so I had to shave him first and then give him a bath so he did really good though with the clippers I let him like listen to the sound first before I started to shave him but he did really good last year too as you got if you guys have been following since last year you know that we shaved him last year and um, I know a lot of people might not like shaving their dogs or anything but I do highly recommend if you do have like a lot of hair and stuff and obviously just during like the summertime it's only whenever I do it I don't do it during the winter because obviously he would freeze to death <laughs> but <laughs> so I feel really good now because one of the plus sides of shaving your dog is that that means there's less hair that's going to fall off them inside the house and Otis stays inside for the most part with us um, and when I first got Otis I was not really sure where he was going to be like I didn't know if we was going to let keep him outside for the most part but Otis is a he's a very he likes to be around people and he likes to be close to us so putting him outside really just didn't make me feel right at all like it made me just feel really uncomfortable and just kind of like felt bad so um we just figured out Otis is supposed to be an inside dog and most dogs are happier when they're inside with their owners and that's just how it is although I know not everybody can keep their dogs inside and I do understand that too but I've never really been out on my own and had a dog like I grew up with a dog and my mom always let her come in and out of the house like we do Otis so that's just kind of how I was raised but I just found from his behavior and stuff from seeing how he was he was happier inside with us so he stays inside and we do the best that we can do but now I will not have to vacuum literally like every day because now his hair will not be shedding everywhere so that is a plus and he'll be able to be a little bit cooler now when it gets really hot out because Otis doesn't like the heat a whole bunch. So if you guys, I did, I bought the clippers at Walmart. If you guys are interested in them, I do, I did really like them. They cut his hair really well. He is called a gold adore, which is like a lab and golden retriever mixture. So his hair is pretty thick. Obviously it's not as thick as a golden retriever, but it's thick enough. <laughs> and I really didn't know which clippers to get that would do the job i forget oh the clippers are out on the porch right now because i gotta go get the leaf blower and do both of the porches cole is afraid of the beetle bugs that have died on the back porch he will not go back there because he's terrified of them so today is one of those days where it rains a little bit the sun comes out and then five minutes later it's raining again i it's like a shower type day so it's just one of them days. I don't know. My husband went to weed eat for some lady and he should be back any minute. It's also really cool again. There's like a little miniature cold front the next couple of days where it's going to be like high 50s, like 58 and stuff. And I, I, I just want it to be warm. <laughs> I want it to be warm and I want it to be sunny. But this is the aftermath of Otis's hair. Um, here are the clippers, by the way. I wanted to show them to you guys. They're called the Pro Series. Um, they were they were kind of expensive, but I do really like it. It's cordless, which was so convenient to have a cordless one. Last year, I borrowed my Paps, and his was not cordless, but I really do recommend the cordless ones. Now, the size that we used to cut him was six, so that's what I used, and I really like it. I didn't know if I wanted to use the six one. I feel like number three would have been just too short. I don't know, though. Uh, my husband hasn't seen Otis yet, so I was going to get his opinion on that. I actually think that I hear him coming right now as we speak. But, yeah, i got to clean this mess up. i got to clean up the blades. I have to make my bed because I was washing sheets. And then I think that's all of my chores before it's time to get coal. So I'm just kind of messing around, not really in a hurry to get this stuff done. <laughs> yep, that's my husband. Here he comes yay so yeah 
I decided to vlog. I don't know if this is gonna be like a two day vlog. Today is Wednesday. I normally don't vlog midweek, but I was thinking um, about trying to get a bonus video up for you guys to have an extra video a week because I don't really know how I feel about the two week video. I feel like I need another video up. So we will see if, you know, how it goes. I'm not gonna force anything because right now I really like my routine of videos and how everything has been and it's so much easier for me to edit and things and stuff now. All right, so before we go get coal, we have to run to the metal place and get rid of some metal and some old bikes. So I'm gonna plant, repot my ferns because my husband bought me bigger pots for them. Buddy, ain't it? Your buddy Shay Shay. <laughs> Where are we going? So we're going to the metal place. Got all kind of junk on the back. It's been a while since we've been to this place. Is this in here? No. no. What are those? Cheetos? You said it a little bit ago. First time I ever heard you say that. Cheetos. Cheetos! <laughs> You're all orange. <coughs> Cheetos. What is it? Cheetos? <coughs> oh my. Stuff. What yeah. is this place, so? Bunch of shit. Huh? So it calls just like what in the freak? Where are we? Oh. Okay. Did you see the tractor? Where's the tractor? Huh? You wanna take your shoe off? You trying to take your shoes off? Did you eat your granola bar? Mm -hmm. My cold favorite granola bars are the Sun Belt ones are so good. Guys, I drink a Mountain Dew today. I haven't drank that for years. I used to be addicted to it. Alright, so we're outside. It is chilly. We have coats on <laughs> and pants. We changed out of shorts into the pants because I swear it's like maybe in the I don't know like, I don't it might be 60 degrees out here but it's chilly I don't like it when is this cold crap gonna end there are the birds just chirping it is a gloomy you guys I'm so sick of this too like every day I just want the sun to shine Oh, hi. 
thought we was going to do corn. Granddad, what the hell's wrong with this thing? And there's a uh, little metal soldiers. What's the truck? Where's at? my hug? Hug. Oh, not in the house. No, we gotta take it outside. What we eat? I, I, we gotta take it outside. We'll go out and feed the deer. We'll go back out with Otis. Get your coat on. Oh, you done took your coat off. You tried the sushi for a good Sushi? Nah. It's good. It's good. Mom, have you ate it? Mom ate it. <laughs> Dad, have you? Mom ain't going to get eat fried fish, let alone raw fish. You gonna put that up? There's a hamburger in there, and then there's that racist oh, I'm not hungry, I'm... chicken stuff in that boat. Doesn't Hunter have a pair of shoes like that? Yeah. Y'all matching? I do bought Oh, Toby need to hit the sand pile. There's you still in there. You still got some. Bubbles. Get your lumber and get it up here. If you guys have not tried this tea, I highly recommend. This is what I have before I go to bed. And I will show you guys when I make it here after a while what I do. But it's really, really good. you guys how I make my tea. We just put coal to bed. So I'm gonna fill up my cup here with some water. Three seconds. That's what I put mine on. Alright we're gonna let that go and I'm gonna get the other stuff real quick. This is the honey that I like to use in my tea. Showed it before thousands of times, but this is what I use. Cut this in half. And then I'm gonna add in some honey and I don't really like a whole lot of mine, but I'm gonna sweeten it a little bit. Just like that much. Give it a little stir. Then I'm gonna finish letting the tea steep. That's it. Oh, also sometimes I do cinnamon too. 
forgot about that little. Nighttime tea. I'm telling you guys, it always puts me to sleep. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna go watch Netflix and chill now. The sun just came out for the first freaking time, and it is 7 08 right now. Look how bright it is out all of a sudden because the sun just peaked. Finally, <laughs> been waiting for that all freaking day, and the sun just come out as we're gonna go to bed, so. Well, you know, I'm going to go watch Riverdale, I guess. But yeah, it got really bright all of a sudden. It's wild looking. So yeah. I will probably talk to you guys tomorrow because I'm going to go drink my tea and relax a little bit. I also feel like when I make myself a cup of tea, I'm less likely to want a snack. Because normally when I sit down to watch TV, I always want to munch on something. Is Let me know down below. Are you guys like that too? Because I hate it. Like, I can't lose weight because <laughs> all I want to do is eat. And I'm about to be that time of the month too. So it's like 10 times worse for me right now because I have the munchies like really bad. And all I've done this last week is just eight. And I feel like... I haven't done like very good so morning guys it is the next day i don't know how much of this vlog that i am vlogging i don't know how much footage i've done have but um we have a busy day today today's thursday i got a lot of cleaning to do and my husband's gonna mow the yard because the grass is just <laughs> overgrown taking over everything outside it looks really like we live in the freaking jungle or something it looks it's pretty bad because of all the rain that we've had um my mom is having a yard sale this weekend so that is happening as well and i think we're gonna have like a mother's day because this is mother's day weekend so happy mom day to all you moms out there but um i think we're gonna have um a cookout on saturday with just like my parents and my grandma i was gonna invite my grandma and my parents to that and last weekend we did a cookout with my husband's kids so I figured it was time to do one with my parents and then my grandma just lives over in town um so i might just invite them over for like a little steak cookout i think we're gonna get steaks which i'm really excited about um because i haven't had a good steak on the grill for a long time so yeah that is our weekend plans of course i'll be vlogging this weekend more than likely for mother's day but you guys won't see that video until after mother's day but you might see this video by mother's day i'm not sure yet i'm gonna try to get it up Maybe either Saturday or Sunday for you guys to have that extra third video in there. But I gotta clean Cole's room and bathroom and da da da. <laughs> I just don't wanna do any of it this morning. I'm very just like not motivated yet, but I think I'm gonna hook up my speaker and play some music because that normally helps me get going. And I done had coffee and I've um, had a little bagel to eat, just something fast. But I wanna get this crap done because I gotta go mow some grass too. I was gonna mow at the bottom of the yard and. <sighs> I don't know guys like I want to get my kitchen done too but I might wait and do it this evening oh and also we're making a crock pot meal today so I got to figure out the exact like timing of how I'm gonna put that in as well I almost forgot about that but um, it's like kielbasa hash browns and some cheddar cheese soup or something that I also got off Mandy in the making on here on YouTube but I'll share that with you guys here a little later on when I go to put it in, but it's super easy. You just throw everything in the crock pot and it's done. So that'll be dinner for tonight. And so I'm really excited. My, sorry, you guys are like really crooked. I got my cleaning done this morning, like really quick. I was done by like 8.30 because I just wanted to get it done. So I just put this vlog on the computer to edit it up to this point. And um, so now I'm ahead on that as well, which is great. My husband's done started mowing outside. So I want to get out there and start helping. It's almost 10 o'clock now. And we're going to put this crock pot meal in, so I wanted to show you guys. I'm having a little snack, so I'm going to eat one of these little crap. <laughs> I'm going to eat one of these granola bars because I'm already feeling like I'm hungry. And before I go mow, I'm going to be burning like a lot of calories. Push mowing the bottom part of the yard because it's a little steep down there. We can't really take the rider down in there. So you have to push mow it. And it's, even though our push mower is like self, um, what's it called? Propelled or whatever. You just press the handle and it'll kind of like pull itself. It's still really difficult down there because of how the land is uneven. 
So I think me and Otis, the sun's coming out too, which is good. So today's supposed to be really sunny, thank the Lord, but it's still gonna be like chilly. So I also have not been out yet to see what the temperature is, but let's get this in the crock pot. Um, bowl to put everything in really quick. Leave a comment down below. Are you liking that on these vlogs I'm throwing a dinner recipe in in almost every freaking vlog for you guys? <laughs> so I hope that you guys <laughs> are enjoying that. Um, so you're going to need some cheddar cheese soup, a little bit of evaporated milk, shredded frozen hash browns, and some kielbasa. And I think I'm going to add an onion into mine because you guys know how I am about onions. I love onions. So I'm going to dice up an onion and throw in as well. And you're gonna need like two, I think you're gonna need two tablespoons of minced garlic. So I need to get that. What are you doing today? So what I'm gonna do is only pour in half of a bag of hash browns. Ooh, that might have been more than half. Well, it doesn't really matter. Alright, whatever, that's good. And then I'm going to um, dice up my kielbasa, my onion. You're gonna throw in this bowl, the cheddar cheese soup. She didn't use all the cheddar cheese soup, but I might just go ahead and use it anyways because I don't feel like you can have too much of this because I put in a little bit more than half the bag of hash browns. So I'm just gonna use the whole can because I'm not gonna be able to use it for anything else. By the way, I've never tried this before. cut off I do apologize but basically after you mix everything up you're going to throw it in the crock pot on low for six hours or high for like three I think so super easy and the evaporated milk we're not going to use the whole can I don't think we're just going to use half of it so we're just going to use half of that let me see um hi yotes all right, so it is very much later in the day now. The sun is hitting the porch right here, and it feels so good. It is such a cool day, but I almost really like the weather today. It's warm, but it's like, it's definitely not nowhere near hot. It's like cool. I don't even know how to explain it. I don't even know what the temperature is right now, but I'd really like to know. My phone is on charge to find out what the temperature is today, but it is amazing today. Um, it's just like a really nice, cool, it's like the breeze is definitely a little chilly, but it's still really nice, like and warm. Um, it might be 60 degrees, I don't know. Oh, we had the cheddar and kielbasa stuff in the crock pot. It was very, very yummy, very good and delicious. So I highly recommend to try it. Watch out for claw now. Thank you. No, this ain't juice, this is Aki, this is mommy's. I'm gonna have a ace. <laughs> pear cider. <laughs> Highly recommend Ace Cider. It's really good. The E and T ears, nose, and throat doctor to get everything checked out just to make sure that there's nothing wrong with his hearing. Again. Juice. And um, we have to go to Virginia for that, so he'll miss school on here. Monday. But no. size pull. That's usually how that works. What are you doing? Where's your bike? Let's go get your bike. Go. I'm coming. You want to push your bike? Go. Let's go get your bike. Watch. You're going to fall. Go on. Get up there. It's not like we can just like have a little fire tonight. or Well, I guess we could, but my husband has to get up early, so... Kind of in the mood to have a fire though, so I don't, I don't know. I'm just in like a mood, guys. I'm in a mood. I don't really know how to explain it, but it's like I want, like kind of want to, like I'm in the mood to go camping, like but it's too early yet. I feel like to go. I mean, we could, but we can't. <laughs> what husband? Let me tell you guys something funny about Otis. My husband said ever since I shaved him, he looks like the quilted northern tulip paper. <laughs> Just like the way it's got like the texture in it. <laughs> Sorry, oats. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hi, Dad. 
What did you think of the crock pot meal? Beauty. Beauty. Was it good? Beauty. I told him what you said about Otis looking like the northern toilet paper. morning guys i'm gonna end off this video i hope you guys enjoyed the bonus vlog for the week so i was able to get three videos posted this week for you guys which i was i like a lot better but you know depending on how my weeks are and if they're hectic or not you know i do do other things besides film videos um i have like other things that i like to do and just be in the moment and be with my family like i said so but whenever I'm able to film and I feel like I want to, I will um, include an extra vlog or whatever I decide to do. But um, yeah, I got a little tipsy last night, had a little too many drinks, and then I got sick. So that was great. And I've only been sleep, I only got two hours of sleep. So that also kind of sucked. Um, so yeah, I got cleaning to do, and we just went to McDonald's really quick, and I had to get a coffee, and then I got a sandwich, so my stomach feels a little bit better now. But yeah, that was my own dumbness. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a great, happy Mother's Day weekend, and be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.